I met the Sterniola triplets. Yeah, these guys. I had the awesome opportunity of meeting them in Philadelphia. In this video, I met the triplets and actually took a picture with them. I also got to meet manager Laura, which was really shocking. <laughs> After that, we took off to watch the Q&A and see Lost and Truly live in concert. Yeah, I recorded the entire thing. And it's bad quality because I wanted to save space on my phone, but at least it's something. I gotta say, this is one of the best days of my life. Also, this video would have been longer, but I may have deleted the footage when I was editing it. My bad. Well, I hope you enjoy my first ever YouTube video. Oh, really? Oh my god, it's so bright. Oh look, it says light. It also has a moon setting. Look at this. It's a freaking moon setting, isn't that awesome? I'm gonna finish writing these letters and I'll get back to you. So since I don't have to be there until 4.30, we're gonna go to Liberty Bell and maybe take a tour of the Mint, I'm not sure. But other than that, it's just gonna be chill. I actually get to meet them today. Like that's freaking me out. Also, here is the letter I wrote for Nick. I finished that one. I have to write the map letter from Matt and Crystal, so I'm gonna get on that. Okay, so I just took a shower. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! And before I took a shower, we had breakfast and I finished Chris's note. Personally, I love this one, it's great. Um, I only have mats to write left, so that's good. After this, we're gonna go down and see Liberty Bell on the mint thing, and then we're gonna go see the Sterney Watch, which I'm so nervous. I have seven hours to prepare myself for this. We ended up walking around the city for hours. When we were walking back, my feet were so tired and we just didn't go to the quote unquote mint thing. When we got back to the hotel, I finished writing Matt's note, which meant all the notes were finished. Okay, so I've been chilling for a bit. My dad is out in the fitness room and I've been watching the shiny yellow triplets, what a surprise. Oh my god, my hair is a mess. Mm. It's currently 1.18. I have four hours until I meet them. Less than three and a half hours when I have to be there. So I just leave it like in like two and a half hours, which is scary. I finished all of the notes. They're all in here. Let's trip to her 2023. Oh my god, why is that turned on now? Ew. It hasn't turned on once. <laughs> the B-Reel went off earlier too, which means that I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the triplets if I can take my B-Reel with them. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it might. My dad's gonna record the entire thing. I had to drag him along with me, and he's just gonna be taking pictures of me instead of the actual people, because I'm gonna be so absolutely memorized, because this is my first like show ever, I guess. I'm so excited to hear Lost and all, and all the music creators too. It's so exciting. I didn't record anything after that, so I'm gonna do some stories and then go into the show recordings. Disclaimer, I was standing near the back, so I won't put in video clips if someone's in the way. Therefore, there might not be as much footage as expected. Anyways, into the first story. My first story is called The Adventures of Waiting Outside the Venue. No joke. We were waiting out there for an hour and a half. The wind was blowing and it was extremely cold. I couldn't feel my feet by the time we walked inside. The second happier story, my dad bought me a tour shirt. Not really a story, just wanted to mention it. This story is where things got real for me. Since I had the earlier meet and greet time, I got to meet the triplets before the show started. When I was pretty far up the line, about 20 people before meeting the triplets, there was a table with a question box on it. After I was done freaking out about the fact that I could see their shadows behind the backdrop for the photos, I thought of a question and wrote it down. While I was writing, a lady walked up to me and said, Oh, is it unlocked? Don't want anyone getting in there. And she laughed a bit. I laughed along because it was the right thing to do when you don't know someone. But then I thought about it. Where have I seen her from? But then it clicked. On the way to Philadelphia, I watched the triplets videos to catch up on the ones I'd missed. One of them happened to be the haunted hotel in Texas, where Chris mentions manager Laura. I bet you can guess where I'm going with this. I met manager Laura. It didn't click until I saw the other girls taking photos with her. So of course I wanted one too. After that, I freaked out in realization that this is real. If you've been to a meet and greet, you understand the feeling of realization. Every thought in the world goes away, and it all focuses on not passing out. No, seriously, it was that bad. I'm two people away from meeting the one, well, three, and only Sterniolo triplets. 
The girl in front of me goes out to record for her friend and is already crying. I'm standing in front of the guard, actually shaking like my body's turned to jello. My dad goes out to record, and then I go. The moment you've all been waiting for, the meetup video. Okay, I muted the audio in this clip just for your ears sake. It was very loud in this venue, but I just want to point out how happy they looked doing this. I remember walking in, seeing their smiles, and that immediately made me smile. Okay, so I'm showing them the picture idea here, and I'm rearranging to be with Nick, and Matt wanted to do the little gun hands thing, but I didn't see him, so sorry about that. Anyways, I was so happy. That that's the most genuine smile I've done in a while. You can't see it in the video, but I freak the fuck out. They were so kind to me. The only things I really remember from that meetup is the feeling of Nick's hug and looking Matt in the eyes. The only one I looked in the eyes was Matt, I was so nervous. I remember thinking to myself, okay, I have to look at one of them just to prove this is happening, and I did, and so many emotions shot through my body. I was looking at Matty B himself. It was a bizarre experience. Anywho, here's the picture. After we walked out of the meetup room, there was a lady at the bar. My mind has turned to a complete brain fog and lightheadedness, so I have to lean on the counter to actually not pass out. My dad asked me what I wanted to drink, and to be honest, I don't even remember what I had to drink. I was jumping everywhere like my mom just spoon-fed me six tablespoons of sugar at the age of eight. Anyways, that's the end of my stories. Enjoy the concert. And it's recommended you turn down your volume a bit. It gets loud. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, hello. Alright, so, how is everyone? Good? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. So, as you guys know, we're YouTubers, right? We're on the same page. Okay. So, we usually answer questions in our car, but we're not in our car, we're on a stage, but we have questions, so we're gonna do that, though. Right? Yeah. Where did they go? They're right in front of you. Oh, word. Okay, so they're in this box. Oh, so we're gonna answer them. Ah! Okay. First question. Great, this is a good question for you. Does Matt still have Wattpad on his phone? I need to know. Look, look, I'm a, I'm a truth guy. I'm 100% about the truth. The answer is yes, because every single time you have to download it, you have to re-sign up. So yes. there's no point in re-signing up every time, so I just keep it in a folder. But it's only in case you have a video game. Though, yes, right? okay. exactly. Uh, only okay. for video yes, purposes. only, that's it. No other reason. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Big guy right. pushed me out of the way. Who apologizes first after arguments? None of us, really. I feel like there's just never an apology. We just I all do get out every of it. time. No, you, you don't. No, you don't. No, you yes, don't. I do. That's no. crazy. I'll argue with it's not. It's not really an apology. We kind of just like forget that anything It's a mutual happened. agreement that past yeah. times were... It's a mutual agreement that we're moving forward and forgetting about why we're arguing. Fully Every agreed. time. We're Fully just done. Agreed. Nick will argue with me and then go to bed. And I'm like, bro, I don't yeah. even ever argue with you. And go to bed. Ah! Woo! Next question. Do you think if you weren't triplets, you would somehow find each other and be friends? 100%. Really? Well, yeah, I was 100% like, uh, with Chris. I don't know about Nick, but. Yeah, true. Sure. I feel like Nick would push my buttons. I feel too like much. the amazing part about being triplets is that, like, we're forced to be together. You know what I mean? That's very true. But that's like kind of why. Because if we were no force inclusion with you, there would have we would have had our moments. Yeah. Maybe. I but feel like Chris... it's like if we weren't triplets, there'd be like, there's not really a world where we'd collide. Okay. I would have met Matt easily, like through like sports you hope. and stuff. No, one hundred percent. Through sports? Yeah, that's how you make 100%. most of your friends in What middle sports school? do you like follow? I'm talking Nick, about play like playing sports. Oh, oh my god. If we did if we were triplets and grew up in like the same city, went to the same school, me and Matt would have been friends. 100%. We would okay. have met at like hockey or something. There we go. Here we go. All right. If your wardrobe could be one color, what would it be? They said Matt's blue. No. I think it's just cuz he got it on. Black. Yeah. Black cuz it just goes with everything. I was gonna say, like, I wear a lot of colors, but black is kind of just the it has to be. So, like, yeah. yeah, I'm with you. Our tattoo oh, artist black. That's that. good. I like purple, too, though. Yeah, Ooh. purple pants and shoes. Yeah, purple's Can't fun. do it. Can't do it. Okay, go. Next one. I got go. it. You got it. Go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. What's the worst thing you guys did as kids? Worst I remember. Oh, I remember. I remember. You, I remember the worst thing I did. I don't know oh, about you. I remember as a group. You don't remember as a group? 
It might be as a group. I don't know. Say one. Wait, let's say. Let's no, say. What if, a keyword word to the story is the same. Oh, mine was tomato. Oh. Oh, okay. Tomato, remember that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we both have stories what? here. Should I go first? You don't remember either of those? Okay, when my, my mom took a nap on the couch, and like the couch that we had that was like when we were growing up had like little like hairs or fabrics on them. And my mom was like complaining about how she didn't like them before she took a nap on the couch. And while she was asleep, I cut the entire couch. Like, like, and I, I thought, I thought I was doing her a favor. I remember I just, that. Yeah. I, I also just, remember I the same day, I'm pretty sure me and Chris gave each other haircuts behind the couch. Yeah. And I remember cutting my it was, hair. It was a bad day to be a pair of scissors. But the worst thing we did, the worst thing we did, all three of us, I remember our neighbor had like a garden, but it was like growing over into Up like a little bit, yard. there you go. You could, they could hear me. Barely. Well. Yeah, I could okay, hear whatever. Um, but our neighbor had a garden. It was growing into our yard, like over the fence. And me, Matt, and Chris stole every single ripe tomato from his thing. Every no, single. No, they weren't even ripe. Right. We were oh, every tomato. Oh yeah, it was just every tomato. There was like 80, and I think we brought them all into our house. And he got once. zero that year. Yeah. I remember when Mom made us give them back to him. I'm like, what is he no, gonna yeah, do? Yeah, we brought them back we... over, and um, they were already off the plant, and like. Not so it was like what was it? Yeah, I don't know what yeah. his goal was. No, but, but we, well. had, we had to like buy him more. And then All right, we let's. Um, we're gonna table. keep yelling and play a game, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna ask most likely two questions that are gonna apply to me, Matt, and Chris, and then we're gonna each raise our hand and you yell with which triple you think it applies to. Good. Understand? Do the test. Do the test. Okay, so we're gonna test out if you guys know what we're saying or not, and if you're listening. What triplet's name is Nick? Wrong. Wrong. Lower your voice. Ready? Here we go. What triplet's name is Nick? No. Hold on. See, they didn't get it. They're not getting it. Okay. You only make noise when the triplet raises their hand. Okay. Yes. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, What triplet's name is Matt? (laughs) See? Silence. We're good. You got it. Let's play. You guys are good. Who is most likely to break out laughing in a very serious situation? Yeah. All right, we start with silence. Ready? Ready? Yes, good. Yes. Okay. I'll start. Yes. Oh, this is fun. Okay. All right, next. Awesome. There's one girl cheering for you. That's fine. Not That's bad. okay. I fully agree. It would be agree. Nick. 100%. It would be Nick. 100%. Yeah. Nick I like, laugh at myself in serious situations. Yeah. I am just not to be taken seriously. Nick just serious. laughs because he's a part of a serious situation. I just like, I can't be serious, so it makes me laugh when things are. Because I'm like, yeah, yeah no, I can't. Going yeah. to church is like little kids, like us three. Oh my god, we'd yeah. be dying laughing. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Most likely to win the lottery. Okay, go ahead, Nick. Okay, here we go. A couple. Late screams. I feel like it was gonna be silence when they felt bad. Yeah, I guess so. So me. Um, I guess. But like, how do we really determine that? That's like literally. It's locked. honestly who's the most lucky. Like, I guess. Yeah. There's Matt's, really. No... That's very fortunate in the uh, water. No, I. Okay. There's been. We have one crazy scratch ticket story. Okay. Nobody gamble. It's a bad. It's a bad thing to do. But we went to. We went to a gas station with our friend Nathan, and we were like, okay, we're gonna get. We we're like. We were like, we're gonna, Chris goes up to me and he goes, you feeling lucky? And I was like, sure. So we each put $5 towards a $25 scratch ticket and won. Or $20 scratch ticket, sorry, yes. And we won $500. And I was like, yes, this is good. That was nuts. That was was crazy. It was very crazy. But then we stopped after that. So we Yes, but then we're done. You're, we're in profit, we're done. But don't, don't, don't gamble to profit. You're never gonna win. Anyway. Go ahead. Next, who survived the longest in the wild? In the wild? In the wild. In the wild. Silence first. Okay. Someone said not Nick. I yeah, I know. That's why I'm wait, ready. Oh, yes. Chris. Okay, three. All right. Solid. Okay. I was expecting a little more for you. See, I feel like Matt would like, I feel like it'd be Matt because he's most likely to just like adapt to the way the animals live, you know? Like he could be really easily taken in by like a group of wolves. I don't know why I know? feel like that isn't a compliment. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of no, Like if there was like a group of wolves and Matt was stranded, they'd like take him in and he'd just act like them. 
What's that? Like Tarzan? No, like a group of wolves. Like it'd be a whole new thing. You know? Sure. Whatever. Okay. I don't even yeah. want to put my Nick would just complain. I fully understand yes. that. You just complain about not having like, like no Wi-Fi or something. Yeah. yeah okay. Exactly. Who's most likely to have kids first? Between you, that was a great pick, guys. Yeah. Um, it's fully in my control. No plans of that in any near future at yeah. all. Let's not even. All right, next question. Now that tour is coming to an end, what is something you learned from this experience? That's How many people question. actually follow us? Yes. It's crazy when you like see a number on your phone. You're like, yeah, okay. But then it's like you're on a stage and there's this many people in front of you. It's like, yes. whoa. They're right. real. Because you guys come up to us and you're like, oh my god, they're real. But like then, I'm when you guys are all here, I'm expecting you guys to be like, just computers. But you're not. Yes. You're all people. That's yes. crazy. All here. It is crazy. It is crazy. crazy. Fully agree. Um, how to adapt with big crowds. Ah, oh, that is very good. Yeah, I don't like leaving the house because I'm scared of seeing like one person at the grocery store. And yes. I'm on a stage and there's like a lot of you out there. So I'm going to have a good time. Yes. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. I've learned how to take a really quick shower. We don't have a lot of those. Yes. Yeah. Those were great answers. Yes, I agree. Wonderful answers. Next question. Uh. Who was the first person to cuss in front of your parents and how old were you? Me, and I, Chris didn't really swear until way later. No, like, our mom just didn't like us swearing. Yeah, so. All of our, all of our YouTube friends here think we swear like for our whole life, but we didn't swear until we like started YouTube. Like yeah, that was a very that's rare fair. thing. Tell them, can you please tell them the first story? Yeah, the first time I remember saying sorry, children. But the first time I remember saying fuck was I spilled hot tea on myself, and I was with just Matt, and we didn't really like casually swear with each other. I was, and I spilled I was tea on myself, and I was like. 13 at like a hotel lobby getting hot tea for like the first time ever. I, I spilled it myself and I was like, fuck! And then Matt was like, I think Matt like cried. Like he was so, <laughs> he was so overwhelmed. I was, I I was just swear. so in shock. And just I was caught like, off guard. I didn't like, know if I was going to have to tell my mom. It was like instinct for me too. Like crazy. I didn't know I was capable of It was crazy. All right, next one. Ready? All right. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Which would be the rudest animal? Someone said uh, Nick. I am not an animal. I mean, I, I act like one. I growl yes. a lot. I like grunt when I'm angry. But I'm not an animal. I feel like, um... I feel like it'd be an animal that, like, looks cute, you know? Like a chick. Like a baby chick. I feel like it'd be evil. They're, oh, a rat. Oh, a rat would be so rude. Just I mean, me. I like in I just, your business. I just want to be a dog. Call it a day. What? I just want to be a dog. That's not the question. What? Matt. What? What? That's not the question at all. The, an the question is what animal would be the rudest if animals could talk? And you said, I oh, just want to be a I dog. I thought we were, uh, you compared it to a rat. No, I didn't. No, I'm lost. we're saying a rat would be the rudest. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Not oh, even not birds, totally just good. a chick. Not even birds. Like a baby chick, because it looks cute. You know, I'd be like, uh-huh. Okay, next question. When are Chris and Nick gonna learn how to drive? I feel like I don't need to learn. I go with Matt everywhere I go. Oh, we need to okay. learn. Okay, I just gotta yell that. Someone literally said, yes, you do! So, yes. I do. There's a point in life where you're gonna want to drive yourself somewhere, and it's gonna, yeah. gonna come. We'll see. I don't know. Once we're, we're not, back from they tour, maybe Matt can get to it. teach us. Get to I have it. to start soon. Oh yeah, Nick's really bad. You no, need to I can't even because I have no patience either. Matt's like slow down and I speed up. So I'm like, no. Yes. I don't like so listening bad. to Matt, so he can't teach me. Or like listen. stoplights or yeah, yeah. Like listening to most yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So that's not gonna go well. Squidward a lot. If we we're, we're doing Nick would be Nick would be Squidward. Yes. Yes. Shocked. I'd be Patrick. Under a rock. I would never be SpongeBob, though. That's yes, you true. would. That's I'd crazy. That. I don't see it. I see that. I you don't. have like the excitement of SpongeBob. Take my SpongeBob. Like, you're like, ah. Sure, sure. All right, I'll read one. I've been reading a lot. Go. Favorite childhood TV show. SpongeBob. Mine was, mine was Drake and Josh. Legendary. Yeah. That's a good show. Matt. Legendary one. show. Matt. What was that dog about? Like the, I mean, that show about the dog, and it was like the. No, it was uh, he was like a mission specialist. It was like the um, Paw Tough Patrol? Puppy. Tough Puppy, yes. Oh, tough what? Puppy. That show was so good. Tough Puppy, remember that? Don't remember that. And he like, worked as like a mission specialist. That was a good show. Go. I went to Chris with Drake and Josh because we watched it together. So Drake and Josh and iCarly were great. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Which triplet lies the most? Which triplet lies the most? What? Which triplet lies the most? You know, I heard you, but they were saying Chris, and I don't believe him. So would you say they're lying? Yeah, they're lying. See, that was a good joke, right? See, yeah, okay, but like, joke. actually, I feel like, I like we're, we're, can't none of us lie. are like liars. I can't lie. At all. Yeah, you're really bad. I can act, though. See? Sure. Yeah. sure. I can't lie, but I can act. I just can't. No, I really can't lie because I feel like even like the slightest lie, like will really it'll like no, guilt me you're forever. Just, like, I don't know. You're like if I lie, I'd feel bad about oh, lying for so like true. a year and a half. That's so true. Like, like I can't like, do it. He's like a like I could lie to someone, but like I'd come clean like 24 hours because I'd feel so horrible. Yeah. Have you ever gotten away with pretending to be each other? Oh yes. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. When? What? Well, school. Yes. And then remember that camp we did growing up. And you no clue. Like, I don't know. Not a clue. Camp I don't remember being. You and me switched camp counselors because like everybody got their own. Which camp? It was at the like call. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I, I was expecting you to remember it. Okay, next question. <laughs> okay, sure. If you had the power, I was expecting you to remember that. If you had the power to shrink any object and carry it with you in your pocket, which would it be? I'm gonna say. Mine would be. Mine would be a meal. Cause like if I'm hungry, I could just pop it out and eat. Mine would be a bathroom. A bathroom? Just take a bathroom in my pocket. But wait, can you unshrink control. it after? Huh? Can you unshrink it after? You shrink it. Yeah, but can you, like, when you take it out, does it unshrink? Okay, we're gonna do point. one more question. Do you believe, do you believe there's another universe? No. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. There's absolutely. way too much in this world to not be, like, more. Yes. There's gotta be more somewhere, you know? I disagree. Yep. What? Yep. You think we're like alone? Yeah. In the whole world? Yep. Okay. You're wrong. No, I'm we're gonna lying. have to get step I'm lying. I just like to see Nick get worked up about it. Okay. Nice. It's funny. Um, before we go, before we go and our performers come on, I want to tell you guys that our podcast is going to be as soon as we go back to LA. I need some time to, you know, unpack, prepare, get it all set up, check in on everything. Yes. But it should be within a month of getting back to LA. Good. Be careful. Be safe. Love have you all. Fun. Thank you so Love much. much. Bye. 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 How you guys doing? Make some noise! Yeah. Any of you guys know YSB Trill? Yeah. Let's start the chant for Trill. Who really wants to see Trill tonight? Yeah. Alright, let me hear you sing it. Trill!
just here to do a couple songs for y'all. We're gonna, we're gonna turn the fuck up. Let's get it! Hey, y'all know what a wave is? So, y'all wanna start a wave in here? All right, baby, man. We're gonna start from the left side, all right? We're gonna include y'all over here, too, all right? Y'all got it? Y'all got it? All right, look, when I point at y'all, everybody hands down. When I point at y'all, I just need y'all to look at y'all eyes up. We're gonna go all the way across, all right? All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So we have to wake him up because Malcolm sleeps a lot. So I want to hear as much noise as you can make for Malcolm. Let's hear it. Malcolm, 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 Malcolm. Hey, Philly. Oh, y'all are crazy tonight. I already know this is gonna be wild. 
For kind of shit, baby, you should come and lay with me We fighting for the sleep, same thing, I'm on repeat Don't do no titles, but you still gon' be my MVP She pull our rifles, love the way she like the look of me